It's new at 5 o'clock. Three people hurt tonight after an SUV slams into a home in Queens. The driver is now, we're told, under arrest. Iowa News reporter Darla Miles, live at the scene in the Rochdale section. Darla. Well, Bill, those three people have non-life-threatening injuries, but just by looking at the garage where that, draw, that car went through this afternoon, it's really hard to tell. In fact, if you look at the black hole, that big hole to the right, that's a bedroom where three people were at the time. A 14-year-old boy told me he was in the bed, debris hit his head, and on top of all of this devastation, everyone was surprised at what the driver of that car was wearing. She only had a bra and panties on. That, that obviously must have been alarming to you as well. Yeah, that was a little awkward. Witnesses say a half-naked lady drove her Jeep SUV clear through a busy Queens intersection into this home on Baisley Boulevard. I checked the car and the lady was in there. I was just checking. At first she was knocked out, so I checked to see if there was a pulse or anything, and then I, tried, I helped her get out the car. She went straight through the back over here, and when she came out, she came out like a like a like a spinning top, man, like she was crazy or whatever, man. And she came out and this guy grabbed her and she had on a, like a tank top, I think, with some panties on. It is sheer coincidence that the midsize SUV landed in a garage. Witnesses say they saw the 29-year-old driver speeding before she slammed into the house just before 1 o'clock in Rochdale Village, never seeming to pump the brakes one time. I thought she was going to stop at the light or whatever. But she came straight through, man, and she hit this. It was a loud explosion. The damage extensive to a home recently renovated and just put up for sale. I'm thinking how to how to get the car out, how to fix it up. I'm thinking, thank God nobody's hurt, and how to put it back in the market. And the adjacent home also has extensive damage as well as you can tell. Uh, there has been an order to vacate place on that home so the people who were living in that unit also have to find another place to live tonight. In terms of that 29-year-old driver, charges are pending and her name has not yet been released.